Good morning, Patriot Nation. It's Monday, March 23rd, 2020, and it's time for the music update. Happy birthday goes out to Caden. You're another year older, buddy. Have a great day. On this day back in 1944, Michael Neiman was born. He's an English piano player and composer of film music. In 1956, Elvis Presley released his self-titled album, which was the first rock and roll album to sell a million copies and reach number one. And in 1966, Celine Dion had the number one hit with Because You Loved Me. It's time for the joke of the day. How do you get a trumpet player to play triple forte? Write mezzo piano in the music. <laughs> That's for you, Caden. Hey, last week was a great week. Here's the numbers for you. Our goals were to establish some good communication and build some infrastructure so that we could do our learning online. We had 344 students enrolled at Patrick Henry. 10 don't have internet, so of the remaining ones, we had 247 on Google Classroom, which is 81%, which is really good. We had 357 responses, 63 comments. In the performance thread, we had 5,500 minutes of practice, 154 Flipgrid videos. And in the exploration thread, there were 7,777. I have no idea how you get that number. The odds of that must be incredible. Minutes of listening. Let's take a look at this week. The goals that I've set out are one, to develop modules for you to engage in the exploration thread and to engage in the performance thread. I'm trying to improve uh, your access to the content and find more ways for you to engage in those musical activities. And one of my other goals is to improve my feedback flow. I'm getting a little bogged down reviewing the Flipgrid videos, but I'm going to get through it. If I don't, guess what? You can still look at it on your own, and you can uh, still move forward with the tasks and the modules. So another goal that I have for this week is we have really low participation in 6th through 8th grade choir on Google Classroom. Uh, there are 103 students enrolled at Patrick Henry, and only 63 of them are participating on Classroom, which is 61%. I'd like to try and get 19 more of them to participate on Google Classroom this week so we can achieve at least 80% in those grades. Um, in the engagement thread, um, I'd like us to continue to comment and respond to questions. And if you see that a question is posted, know that there is a difference between commenting on it and responding to the question. So make sure that you click on the right button so that you actually respond to the question rather than just commenting on the question. Make sure you're marking everything is done as you go along this week so that Google Classroom knows you've done it. In the performance module, there's three things that we're going to be working on. I'm going to take you to the music website in just a minute. And in the exploration module, there's three things that we'll be working on too. So let's head over there briefly. Here's the music website. You're familiar with it. Um, oops. Well. Oh well. And this is the practice room link right here. And under the four students menu is an exploration thread and a performance thread. And when you go to the exploration thread, you will see the activities that we're going to be doing in this module um, or that you have the option to do because you can do them as many times as you want in whatever order you want to do them. Um, so there's some websites for you to explore. There's going to be uh, a listening library where you can listen to songs and um, fill out listening journals. And there's an area for you to submit reviews of websites and songs. On the performance thread, there uh, is an area for you to s evaluate where you came from last week and how you did by looking at your Flipgrid videos and other feedback. There's a practice area here with practice resources. And then there's a form where you can enter your minutes. And then, of course, you can perform on Flipgrid. 
So let's briefly look at these. On the exploration, on the exploration thread, here's one of the resources that just has that has lots and lots of music technology resources for you to explore. Here's a uh, form that you can fill out uh, after you've engaged in some of those and explored them. Smart Music has done a really great thing by providing us with free premium accounts through June 30th due to the uh, COVID-19 school closures. And so I've set many of you up with those accounts. You can uh, go to your home page and on the home page you will find over here on the right a whole bunch of stuff to explore. I highly recommend clicking on the method book if it's not already pinned down below somewhere and you can pull it up just like it's called the essential elements so it's already pinned on yours but I'm just searching for it and when you pull it up it should automatically load uh, your instrument because that's attached to your profile and if it doesn't then you're gonna have a drop-down box where you can do that and if you can't figure it out I'm just talking while this thing loads oh there we go so find your instrument and you can go to whatever line you want I recommend fifth graders head on over to line 17 hot cross buns when you open it up you'll see the music right there on screen and all you have to do is press this red button when you're ready to record and it'll do a sound check and it'll tune your instrument there's a whole bunch of other buttons up here you should press and explore and just see what it all does here's a really cool thing watch this when I click on this note it tells me by clicking over here the name of the note and the fingering and then right over here it plays me the sound so I know what it sounds like hey here on Flipgrid I've got my beta class set up so that you can see this there are gonna be two new topics one of them is called um, a topic for Mr. Bly only and that's a private one you can tell by this hand up here that nobody else is gonna see your videos that you make there that's the way our our grids have been set up so far this top one here um, is for anyone in the class to hear you so that's a really great way for you to perform and get feedback from your peers so I'd encourage you to take a look at those so that's um, a little bit of what's going to be going on this week now I'd like to close with a little bit of a Monday pep talk here because since I'm a teacher, a lot of times I'll encounter people and they'll ask me, what do you teach? And I know that early in my career, one of the uh, answers that I gave was that I teach music. And it took me a few years to realize that that's not a very good answer to that question. What I really teach is I teach kids. So regardless of whether you want to learn about music or whether you want to learn about something else or what it is you want to learn about music, I'm here to teach you. And then last week, something occurred to me that hadn't occurred to me before as I was trying to figure out how to provide online instruction when I'm not there, you know, helping you right by your side. And um, a thought popped into my head, and I realized that my real job is to teach you to teach yourselves. My job is to work myself out of a job. And in fact, I think that's really what the point of education is. It's not my job to always tell you what you need to learn or how to learn it. It's not my job to ask you the questions so that you can give me answers. It's your job to ask the questions and find the answers on your own. And it's my job to help you discover what that's like. And so that's really what these modules are designed to do. You can do whatever you want. You can explore what you want. You can play what you want. There's going to be tools there for you to engage in it. There will be ways for me to monitor how you're engaging in the content and for you to report to me what you're doing and for me to help you along the way. But in the end, you're the one who's in charge. So for uh, this week's discussion question, 
here's what I want you to respond to on Google Classroom. What are some ways that you can take more ownership of your learning at home? And with that, we close our March 23rd music update. I'll see you here tomorrow. Until then, make it a great day or not. The choice is yours.